Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris Hunter. Hey, just so if you don't know, me and my wife, Nikki, we, we bought a place in Destin. We, from Oklahoma, we moved down here. We got us a boat. We've been out fishing, loving it. We call ourselves the fishing hunters now, but we also got an underwater drone and this is what we've been doing. We've been sending this thing down and check this out. These are these pyramids. They're just right offshore. Actually, they're everywhere out there. They've deployed them near Destin. I, I love what they've done with making these artificial reefs, but so interesting. So check it out there. Here comes a shark. There's some cobia. The shark cruised by with a school of bait fish. You just never know what you're going to see when you send this drone down. But these pyramid boxes, they're, they're not very far offshore. But look, there's red snapper, all kinds of different species that are out there. But this the water clock quality wasn't exactly super clear today you can tell it's got a bunch of stuff in it. it's really green but you still get a pretty good look at what's going on underneath there here we're coming up close on these things look inside this thing there's two fish i think it's some sort of grouper see him looking at us there ah yep there's two of them in there you see that one down below and then all kinds of bait fish but they hide in these boxes it's also why they these fish, they bite your, your bait and they take off and they get in these things and snags you up or breaks it off. But there's that other one peeking through right there as well. Some sort of grouper. I don't know what kind, but we've maybe you guys can help me out. Drop it in the comments what you think it is. But check this out. See that bait bouncing right there? And you can see the weight right in the middle of the screen. So my wife dropped this bait down. She was kind of bouncing it so I could see where it was with the drone and then laid it flat. And then check what happens here. See that snapper coming up from behind? Two of them, actually. So there's a couple there, and there's another one coming in a little closer. They're all coming in to check it out. The, the really cool thing was they wasn't disturbed by that drone being there. I'm, I'm only 10 feet away or so from this thing, so I saw this fish coming in, that bait right there in the middle, so I wanted to try to capture it and see what, what would happen if it would come in and bite it. So I backed up a little bit, you can see, and this thing, he's eyeing it. Boy, he's he's thinking, what is this thing? So he makes his little swoop around, and then he comes in for it. Ah, he likes it. He gets a little nibble of it. And you can see, you can see her weight still hanging there too. You can watch what happens with that thing when he does bite it. Uh, here he comes back in. His buddy comes back in to take a look at it, but he's like sitting right on it, just like protecting it checking it out, seeing if he wants it. And what's gonna happen here, he's gonna bite it, and then he's gonna come back and bite it again. When he bites it the second time, he grabs the hook, and it's on. The bait stays there, and then he swims off, and she catches this fish. But here he is for a bite, and I told her, I'm like, hey, you're getting a bite. She's like, huh, I am? She didn't feel it yet, and then all of a sudden she felt it here. He grabbed the hook, there he goes off. He's hooked. Bam, there he goes. She's reeling him up. Next thing I know, you'll see here, I'm looking for it. I can't really tell where he went. And then there she is pulling that thing up. I'm driving the drone down there. And of course the camera died, so we couldn't finish it off, but it was a nice red, red snapper. So hope you like that thing.